Okay, I was just on my YouTube account and I noticed there was a message from, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, Gigolo J, asking about my P. crassipes, uh, Phlogius crassipes, Australian species that I posted a video of, oh god, about a year, year and a half or so ago. I'm not quite sure of the date, I don't have it uh, with me right now. But uh, at that time, it was just a fast little juvenile. Well, um, fortunately, well, I'll say unfortunately, it doesn't really matter either way, but I only have one of the species. Normally, I buy three, and I bought one to try this one out. I just, uh, I'd never heard of them before. I did some research and just love the idea of having you know, tarantulas from many different continents, and this one being from Australia. That was one I didn't uh, have an Australian species, so I picked this one up, and it looks like it matured into a lovely young man. So I'm going to try to open this up here. There he is. He's probably not going to stay out to him. There he goes. That was a quick one. So this is obviously going to be a very quick video. Um, obviously, I just dropped two crickets in last night, and there they are dead. He is no longer eating. He's been kind of pacing his cage looking for a female. Um, again, this is one that looks like it has some sexual dimorphism, because when I looked up pictures of females, they're very, very dark brown, kind of a chocolatey brown. And when this guy um, finally came out, he molted recently. Oh, gosh. Um, just a... Uh, month ago, month and a half ago, he um, I saw that he had molted, kicked his exoskeleton out, but he had buried himself before that for about two months. Um, this guy is usually a voracious eater. Um, just some quick husbandry notes on it, although he's uh, obviously there's going to be nobody there to look at. There he is down his hole. Um, these guys like uh, moist substrate. I kept them all in very deep substrate. He was originally in one of those containers there for quite a while. Um, when he outgrew it, I put him in one of these, which is one of the larger Sterilite containers. I think these are about 27 quarts or so. That's a round vent in the corner. Some holes done in the side there, so we keep really good ventilation. And that's a lot of substrate for because they are a fossorial species. They will burrow. Um, what I like about this one is they will come out and wait right on top for prey, which is neat. So I, do, I did get to see him quite a bit, although he's been a lot more shy lately since he's matured. Um, the substrate, as usual with all my guys, is a combination of peat, uh, topsoil with some vermiculite. Um, this thing weighs a ton. This is a lot of dirt in here. And again, I keep a nice fresh water dish in. Unfortunately, those two crickets will have to be rescued in a moment and probably put outside because I'm not going to bother trying to feed them to something else. Uh, Temperature-wise, this guy is kept at uh, 72 to 76 or so during the winter time, and 75 to about 80 or so during the uh, summer and uh, I have to say it was a really, it was a pretty quick grower. This guy would molt quite a regular, regularly, I still have a hard time with that word, um, every two months or so and put on some decent size in between, but a really beautiful, um, sleek species. These guys supposedly have a heck of a bite. They're called barking splayers because supposedly they stridulate or make a sound that almost um, has been called barking. I've never heard mine do it, unfortunately. Although I try not to bother my guys, so I generally don't get those defensive uh, postures or sounds or anything like that. I still haven't heard my um, T. Sturmy make any noise either, and they can do it as well. So this is the P. Crassipes. I'm going to try to find more of these. They're not very prevalent around here. I think there was just one big batch that came over from Australia a couple of years ago. And all the ones available on the market over here are from that. And uh, Australia isn't exporting any of these right now. So they're a little more difficult to come by. I did notice that uh, Anastasia and Netbugs, I think, has a couple of species available. So I'm going to probably grab some more because they really are gorgeous species. But lightning fast. If you look at the earlier video, you can see how fast they are. And um, they do pack one heck of a wallop of a bite. Um, Feeding-wise, as a juvenile, it would take, um, I mean, as a sling, it would take down crickets that were pretty much the same size as it. It was a voracious uh, appetite, great hunter. And um, as before its last molt, I would drop in uh, two large crickets a week and it would eat them no problem. But unfortunately, he's not eating anymore, which means he's probably looking for a lady. So I might have to post this guy up, see if I can find somebody to mate with, because I would like to have more of these guys. That's the pre-crassipes.